The Board of Elders of Gateway Church say they have accepted the resignation of senior pastor Robert Morris. This comes after a woman alleged she was sexually abused by Morris when she was a child in the 1980s. This is absolutely the right thing to do. If you are a pastor and for whatever reason, let's just say that he is truly repentant. What would a truly repentant person do now at the time of the sin? I don't care who you are. There's going to be a tendency to want to get back into whatever it was that you have lost to be restored. That's just natural. But a truly repentant person will take all the time that's necessary and not rush it. Why? Because the focus is going to be for uh, the name of the Lord for the benefit of the body, as well as for that person. So the news now is that Robert Morris has resigned and the Board of Elders has accepted his resignation. There's just no really, there's really no way that he could have gone back and could have passed. The people there would simply have looked at him and just questioned everything about him. How do you go up and speak to him? How do you listen to him? It'd be hard for you to listen to what he's saying, see this man, knowing what he did to some girl over 35, almost 40 years ago, whatever the date is, we're talking about about 40 years ago, uh, and that he was an adult who was married. This isn't something that we just take lightly, especially now. Uh, you can say that someone is hyper sensitive about this. No, this is this was a little girl uh, who's older now. She's older than me now. She's I think she's 54 now. So this was something that people, and rightly so, would be bothered by. And so I think the right thing for him to do was to step back. Now, I do understand also that he was no longer uh, leading in the same capacity. I think I've heard that his son or someone else had been taken over and leading duties. I would say this also. Anyone else that is on the board that was involved in this, granted, it's been a long time. But still, if there's anyone else that was involved in the decision making uh, some time ago, you have that person ought to do the right thing as well. The reason why this is important is because. First Timothy three, this is our guide for, for pastors. This person needs to be above reproach and respectable. This part about being above reproach and respectable, that's the part that's called into question as well as if we go down a little further where it says that must have a good reputation amongst the outsiders. You don't really have that anymore. You can say it, it's right, it's wrong, it's fair. Uh, he did all that he was required to do. Folks are saying he should have gone to prison, all of those things. Well, the fact of the matter is he didn't, and you can't go back and retry. You can't bring back it. Let me just also caution anyone of you who are saying he needs to go to jail. Don't you be the person also that's looking for your pound of flesh. Let this work out. Let 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 all parties involved, uh, let them heal. Let let the Lord work in them. And if, if um, Robert Morris still has some things in him that uh, needs to you know be fleshed out. Now, I don't know the motive behind it. I'm, I'm hoping and praying that it was for a godly reason, uh, that he understood that maybe this is the right thing to do, uh, even if it was going against maybe his desire. Because if you want to please the Lord, oftentimes you will, matter of fact, not oftentimes, in many cases, most cases, you're going to go against your own desires. We are called to lead by this. I think First, 10, First Corinthians 10.31 uh, is appropriate in so many cases. Whatever you do, whether you eat or drink, do it all to the glory of God. So even if you're contemplating on, in this case, uh, stepping down, whatever you're going to do, if you want to stay and lead, if you want to fight this out, if you want to prove that you have been repentant, whatever you do, do it all to the glory of God. Why? He says, give no offense to either the Jews or to the Greeks or to the church of God, to the body of Christ. The body of Christ should not be offended in what you are doing. Just as I also please all men in all things, not seeking my own profit, but the profit of many so that many will, will be saved. Him being there would be um, a hindrance for that. It would be an impediment. People would, again, see them. And there's still going to be a stain there because some are going to say, you know what? The fact that you guys even knew of this. Now, the question is going to be how much of you guys that are on the board now knew of this? How much of this did you know? Did you seek to find out? Did you reach out to this lady? If you knew of these things and still kind of, you know, slipped underneath the rug because, hey, this man is bringing in a lot, uh, over 100,000 so that are watching each week on the various campuses and online. We don't want to upset the apple cart. But again, the integrity of the name of the Lord is uh, in question, just like we saw in Samuel where the, 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 the priests were doing things and they caused people to despise the offering of the Lord. You don't want that to be the case here. And so 
I, I, I applaud them. I applaud Robert Morris's move. I pray that it was for the right reason. And it wasn't one of those things where, you know what, uh, my time here is up anyway. I don't know if he's taking a position kind of in, in the in the back, uh, you know, kind of some sort of emeritus position. I hope that's not the case. It, it's just best that he would just be completely break all ties with the church and just, you know, uh, maybe be, just be a member, go somewhere or, and I don't know if he could still be a member there. I don't know. Uh, it would be difficult for him to really to go anywhere. It's almost like, hey, that's the guy that used to be the pastor of that church. Uh, so, but I think in this case, I think this is how it should work. I think this is how it should be. When we look at how, not necessarily church discipline, because this isn't really church discipline here. This is him stepping down. But I think this is the way it should work. If you were if to pray for the best outcome, I think this is the best outcome. There are going to be some that will say, well, we need to pray that he goes to prison. No, we don't need to pray that. Even though as heinous as it was, he can't go to prison. And so you want to make sure that uh, you are praying that the Lord, that he be restored in terms of his walk. Again, I've seen people who have committed heinous acts, even against children that I would minister to, to try to get them at a place in their walk with Christ where their focus is him. Because again, we're talking about what the Lord can do. The Lord can heal someone, can cleanse someone, can change someone. If you don't believe that, well, then who are you serving? We serve a God that is able that is able to do exceedingly abundantly above all that we can think or ask. And we're asking that everyone be healed, especially that, that lady, the young lady. She's no longer, um, uh, well, I shouldn't say young lady. She's 54 now, but that she would be healed, uh, that she would see the glory of the Lord. And it's, I, I always pray, whatever the situation is, that God gets glory. And I think this is one of the situations that even in a scandal, this is probably the best outcome that you can get. This is how God gets glory. People can see that you just can't live a certain way, be a certain way. Even if the person has been repentant, this is a position that cannot it's a position that cannot stand it's not it's untenable for him to be in this position now it's going to hinder uh the word of the lord going forward and so i think this is really the best thing that we could hope to happen so thank god for all of this thank god for him stepping down thank god for the elders who uh maybe someone got in his ear uh but even more than that i praise god that now his name uh there should not be too much of a hindrance as i pray that that be the case for anyone looking at this because the most important thing is not Robert Morris. The most important thing is not Gateway Church. And also, interestingly enough, the most important thing is not even the woman. The most important thing is that God be glorified and that those parties, starting with the woman, that she is healed now and that also all other parties involved would also be healed as well. Amen. Amen.